Hey, welcome back everyone, it's Bill. Today I am trying something different. Honestly, because I'm getting bored of making all the same food. I mean, I got some more mango running again right now. But, uh, Rakad went to the market and she was able to pick up some avocados. Some very ripe, some almost ripe. And what I have here is um, some super squishy ripe, some medium, and some kind of hard. So I got a mix of avocados here, quite a lot. It's, how, how many kilos? Ten. It's 10 kilos of avocado, some tomatoes, some white onion, and I got two fresh lemons so I can squeeze the juice. So if you guys know anything, you know this is gonna be guacamole. And if you know me, I'm gonna freeze dry it. So Rakad's gonna spend the next probably hour uh, mashing this up and mixing it all up. And we're gonna get a big ass bowl of uh, guacamole. And then uh, you'll next see me as I'm putting it into the trays uh, to freeze dry. I'm looking forward to this experience. And uh, yeah, you'll see me in two seconds, spreading it out, stand by. Told you it'd be two seconds. All right. In reality, it was about an hour, an hour and a half because we were doing a bunch of things. But I do have now one big bowl of guacamole. A lot of onion, tomato, salt, and avocados. Now, I didn't want to blend it because I don't like avocado soup dip. You know, I like a chunky avocado and I think it'll rehydrate just fine, so. And I think the right amount for five trays. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get it on the trays. I'll show you what it looks like. Two seconds. All right, that didn't take long at all. Um, 10 kilos of avocado plus the tomatoes and onion actually only creates four trays and I didn't even load them all the way full. I was able to thin it out so maybe uh, they'll dry faster. So I got one little tray left over again and uh, I'll probably throw more mango on it because you know if you look here I'm always freeze drying mango. Mango, everybody loves the mango. But uh, yeah, let me get these, uh, put in the freezer. I'll get a, probably a tray of mango done. And then uh, I'm still waiting another 24 hours for this batch of mango to finish. But then you'll see me in two seconds taking this out of the deep freeze and putting it into the freeze dryer. By the way, I tasted it. Um, I did add salt and then I went back and mixed it really good and then added some more salt. And uh, you can taste the salt, but it's not too heavy but it's there and it does bring out the flavor of the avocado and tomatoes, so it's pretty good. So it actually tastes really good. So anyways, two seconds. Hey everyone, welcome back. I told you it'd only be two seconds. All right, so I now have taken my four trays of guacamole out of my deep freezer. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like as I put it into the harvest right. You know, same format, same drill, different product. So I did close the drain valve, and I have free frozen the Harvest Right freeze dryer. And I'm only running four trays, and normally I, I like to run more, but uh, it is what it is. Now, the guacamole is not the green anymore. Even though I added the lime juice, I have a feeling it's just gonna come out brownish. Um, because like bananas and some other things, it doesn't do well with the oxygen, right? So maybe not the best looking uh, dip. But, and it is a chunky dip, so there are gonna be chunks of tomato, onion, and uh, the, guac, the avocado in there. But uh, definitely it uh, doesn't have that fresh, freshly made look. And I'll be honest, ah, it smells really good. I'll be honest with you, I pretty much knew it was gonna come out a darker color. So uh, I'm not surprised by that at all. If you notice, uh, I bagged up some mango this morning that came out. I run this freeze dryer pretty much 24 seven, you know, except when I'm taking it down and changing the oil or, or cleaning it. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue. And we are off to the races 
on the freeze drying side of this equation. I'll see you in two seconds when I pull it out, bag it up, and have a taste test. Stand by. Hey, welcome back everyone. So it has been uh, 60 plus hours, 62 hours for this uh, guacamole mix. Now it had ended sometime in the middle of the night when I got up this morning, I just hit more time just to warm everything back up and make sure it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and let's see how it looks. And then I'll start working on getting it bagged up here. All right, guacamole. All right, the trays are warm. Now, if you look at the coloring, it's got more of a brown color um, than the green from the original avocado, but there's definitely chunks of green in there and red and white from the tomatoes and from the onions, right? So let's take a look here at what I got. So uh, this was four trays, um, extreme, oh yeah, extremely done. See, there's green on the back. It's just what was exposed to the oxygen. So it's kind of interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and bag this stuff up. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll take it downstairs and we'll rehydrate it. Stand by, two seconds. All right, so I got that bagged up. So bagging this up, I got one, two, three, four large uh, bags. And one, two, three, four, five, six, what I would call single serving size bags. And we're gonna take this one downstairs and we're gonna make some uh, guacamole. So let me go ahead and get this put in the long term storage. You'll next see me downstairs in two seconds. Stand by. All right, welcome back everyone. We're back downstairs. So what I got here is that one piece of guacamole and some hot water. And I'm gonna crumble this up a little bit so it'll fit in this bowl. So bear with me there for a second because it is a lot of guacamole. And if you can hear it, it's extremely dry. Sorry about the construction noise in the background. That'll hopefully not be a big problem. Now I'm using hot water today and I'm using a small bowl. I hope it's gonna work out all right. So I'm gonna add a little bit here first and you can saw right away it kinda absorb that up pretty good real quick so I am going to give this a quick stir here now there are onions tomatoes and chunks of avocado in here so I don't want to over water this but I want to make sure I have enough in there so it rehydrates so I am going to add just a little touch of water that's what my gut says and I am going to Let this sit for five minutes. I want it to be fully uh, reconstituted. Stand by, we'll check on it in one minute. All right, it's been five minutes. I have not peaked yet, so I don't know if it's going to be good, bad, or indifferent. Now, it's still kind of chunky because I was trying not to be too abusive uh, when I was mixing the water in. It definitely has that good, uh, creamy, sticky guacamole feel to it. Let's see if I can find a, a big piece of guacamole here or some onion. All right, it smells really oniony. I think I put a lot of raw onion in there, but let's take a, take a bite here. All right, so the onions have not reconstituted fully yet. That's okay, I'm gonna, um, let it sit a little longer. The avocado taste is lighter than before. The onion's more prominent, so if I did this again, I'd probably use less onion. Let me add just a little bit of water. So I'm gonna give this another stir. Yeah, the, on the onions need more time. Those are raw onions, so they probably, they're probably just not gonna rehydrate in five minutes. So I'm gonna give that more time. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. Then I'll come back and I'll, I'll put it on some bread and I'll eat it. But that's going to be it for the video here. Um, 
I would probably put more salt and less onions in the next batch because the, the onion's pretty prominent here. And the avocado flavor is there, but it's not as strong as pre-freeze uh, dry. And maybe more salt would help bring that out. So once again, if you like these kind of videos, smash that like button. Uh, check out all my other videos. And you guys have a nice day. Thank you.